know. Oh, headed out. I'm gonna get the chickens moved uh, this morning. Get that done, and I'm gonna go uh, work on the wife's car. Yay. Uh, first thing, let's get the chickens moved. Okay, the next part, we're supposed to have more torrential rains and 50 to 60 mile an hour winds over the next two days. So... Most important thing to say here, south. If you notice when that thing hits that top light turns green just like it ought to the last time i did this uh the bottom light turned green and the rest of them stayed out and that's how i knew there was a problem and if you want to know what that is go back two or three days and you'll see how i fixed that it was a wire down on the metal okay got that done that's one job done today. See, looks beautiful back there. Uh, chickens are happy, everybody's fed. You know, I've got that uh, crumble feed in a pan out there. That's all they had when I first opened the box. They went straight to it, started eating. I threw out a bunch of scratched grains and uh, cracked corn. They're ignoring that pan of crumble feed. I think that says a lot right there. They like that, uh, that grain. Uh, but I'm gonna go uh, order a sawmill, first of all, and then I'm gonna head out and work on the wife's car. Probably gonna film that uh, ordering a sawmill because I plan to do a really long video uh, on, the, on the sawmill here uh, when I get it and put it together and all that stuff. Because I tell you, I've looked and looked and looked online and there is some stuff 
on the woodland mill sawmill, but it's pretty limited. So when I get it, I'm probably going to do an hour long video on putting it together and all that. I won't force you all to watch that, but uh, I'm going to make the video because somebody out there really wants to know how to do that. That was just almost stupid. Your name was Hi. Leah. Leah. Okay. Uh, my name is Mark Ross. I placed. Well, I didn't place an order. I got a build and quote price uh, on Friday, and I didn't order my sawmill because I had to raise the amount on my bank. But I'd like to uh, go ahead and get that ordered. Okay. So, what name is on the quote? Uh, Mark Ross. R O S S. Yes, M-A-R-K. I don't have anything under that. Okay, well, I got an email back from you, but that's probably okay. I've got it all. I've got the quote printed out, so. And you said M-A-R-K-R-O-S-S? -S? Yes. Yeah, I've got three questions, but none of them are really what you'd call deal breakers. <laughs> uh, one of them is with that uh, bandsaw blade sharpening thing. Can I sharpen the standard bandsaw blades with that? Yep. Okay. That was one question. Uh, and because I'll be moving big logs and stuff off of it, is the fender easy to take off and on? Uh, yes, it is. So it's a removable... Uh, a removable fender. Okay, I thought so, but I wasn't sure. And then yeah. my, my third question was, and I'm sure there's a system to it, but how does the mill lock down when you transport it on a, on a trailer? So there's a lockout kit. So if you just, um, but there's a lockout kit on the bottom of the head, so just to keep it in, in, um, in one spot, not to move. So you can set that. Okay, that was my only question. So, yeah, no worries. <laughs> um, and you wanted the 14 horse, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect. Can you undo to the 16 feet 11 inches? Yes. Okay. All right. That's going to be a pain to get where I got to take it, but it'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, okay, putting everything on here. So it will ship out of Buffalo, New York in two to three business days. And then from there, it's an additional two to five days to your area. Okay. And it is delivery by appointment. So the trucking company will call you to set up a time and someone will need to be there to sign for it. Okay. I, that's not a problem. Okay. Perfect. All right. So it didn't go through. A message came up saying call for authorization. Oh, come on, so I already be, did that. That we're in Canada and maybe it's an international block? I'm not sure. But, um, it's saying you have to call your bank. Okay, well, I already did that this morning to raise the limit so I could do this. I guess I will call them back. Uh, All right, and just let them know we're in Canada and then uh, see if there's any other blocks they have to lift and give us a call back and we can try to get. Okay, uh, and your name's Leah? Yep. Okay, thank you. No problem, take care. Thank you for calling Woodland Mill. You know your party's extension? Please dial it now. Otherwise, press 1 for sale. 2 for... Little Mill, please, speaking. 
Leah, got you again. This is Mark Ross again. Hey, <laughs> you wanna... did you get it all figured out? I think so. They don't like you because you're Canadian. <laughs> I'm a big bad Canadian. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me just pull it back up here and I'll uh, take that payment again. <laughs> all right, so I will need you to read off your card numbers again for me. Oh. All right. Okay, perfect. That was approved. <laughs> I told you, they just don't like they, they said you were a fraud. I was like, no, I really meant to. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So I'll email you over a copy of the invoice and the warranty, and this will ship out in the next two to three days. And once it has, I'll send you the tracking number. Okay. Okay. All right, you have a great day. And if you have any questions, give us a call. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. No, no problem. Take care. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> no worries. No worries, no worries, no worries. I will be deleting all those parts where I said all those numbers because I don't trust you. <laughs> that and I'm not stupid. Well, I'm following the wife home now. It's 20 after 5. Things did not go as planned. Uh, put the pulley on back. Went down to the garage at the end of the road. Said, can you take that pulley off? They said, sure. And proceeded to not get the pulley off and bend it. So, we went to Danville to AutoZone. And got a new pulley because that was the closer auto zone. And after we got the new pulley, we came back, we put it on right, stuck the pump into the car, drove the car about a mile, and the brand new pump failed. It blew up, it was cracked. Uh, <laughs> so then I had to take. Uh, The old pump back to where we got it and get another get the pulley and pull pulley off so we went to AutoZone in Harrodsburg which is where I had to take the pump back anyway took the pump back got the old pump since we decided that the old pump was still good it was just the pulley that it busted off of it We'd had a discussion about that. It's like, well, we'll go ahead and use the new one. We got it anyway, even though it cost 50 bucks. But I got that 50 bucks back now. The old pulley's on her car. The old pulley. The old pump's on her car with the new pulley. And I'm following my wife down America's highways. And it seems to be working. And what was supposed to be a one to two hour job has turned into a six hour job. <sighs> well, this is where I'm going to end it today. Turned out to be a ridiculously long day to accomplish very little. Uh, set out to do a job, should have taken an hour and a half, two hours. And it's seven hours later. <laughs> uh, my wife's driving her car home. Uh, she's going to stop at the store on the way. And I got home and put the chickens up, and uh, it's all good. But that's where it ends today. Uh, I did get the sawmill ordered. That's a good thing. I got my new raincoat. I haven't opened the package yet. Bought myself a duster. I had one of them for about 15 years. I loved the thing. And uh, put it up. It got mousy. So now I have a new one. Yay for me. New duster, new hat. I'm just too cool. Uh, ah, that's it. If you like this kind of stuff, a uh, little bit of car maintenance, if you want to call it that, we replaced the power steering pump. Took forever. Uh, but anyway, like I said, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button, ding the little bell. Uh, we'll be doing some saw milling here in a couple of weeks. Uh, that's probably the most exciting thing that's going to be going on. 
But remember, my name is Mark. I'm just some old Kentucky homesteader. And you have a blessed day. I'm going to take a nap now.